Hi, this is Dr. Ronnie Bannock and welcome to Envision Health, my video series where I share my best tips on how to protect, preserve, or perhaps even restore your vision. In today's episode, I'm going to be talking about a simple intervention which you should incorporate into your daily life, which will help not only your vision health or your brain health, but your general well-being. And that simple intervention is adequate hydration. Now we all know that it's really important to stay well hydrated, to drink plenty of fluids. It benefits so many uh, aspects of our, of our functioning. It helps with, um, with our blood pressure, it helps to digest our food, it helps to maintain our body temperature, it helps so many enzymatic processes within the body. Um, it also helps to detoxify, it helps our, our liver and our kidneys detoxify our bodies. And it also helps to provide enough uh, blood flow or perfusion to, ver to critical organs, whether it be your heart, your lungs, your brain. Uh, so many uh, organs are just so dependent on adequate hydration. So um, a question that many of my patients always ask me is, Dr. Bannock, I know I should be drinking fluids, but how much should I be drinking every day? Now that's a very interesting question. So um, there are different ways to calculate how much you should be drinking every day. Uh, one formula, which I do like to use for many of my patients, is you take your body weight in pounds and you divide that by two, and that's how many fluid ounces you should be drinking every day. It doesn't necessarily only have to be water. It could be other beverages, but try to make sure they're not sugary beverages and also try to make sure that they're non-caffeinated because caffeine will dehydrate you. Um, now, there is another way to calculate how much you should be drinking, and this is more of a, um, a thumbnail approach. Um, you can simply look at the color of your urine, and your urine really should be as clear as possible. So if it looks yellow or brown, uh, then it probably means your body is dehydrated, you're trying to retain water, you're just not drinking enough. So those are two very simple ways you can help determine how much you should drink every day. Um, now that being said, um, if you have issues with your heart, for example, if you have a history of congestive heart failure, or if you have kidney issues, or if you have renal issues, renal insufficiency, then be sure to ask your doctor, your personal doctor, how much you should be drinking every day because um, those guidelines I gave you would need to be adjusted. So, um, so I hope that today's episode has provided you with some useful information. And um, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post in my Facebook group called Envision Health. And I look forward to seeing you on my next episode. Thanks so much for listening.